As I say, as an agency, it's very well known. Over the past eight years, TASM has successfully negotiated over 130 basketball contracts in 30 different countries throughout Europe. We work with U.S. athletes, European athletes, U.S. teams, European teams. You know, European basketball at the moment is on a high, and, and in Europe, it, it, you know, we've taken the game, we've, we've really ad adapted certain things, and there's an incredible impact in Europe, and the leagues have become stronger, and, and TASM's influence in those leagues and placing players, not just in the main leagues of Italy and Spain and Greece, you know, but in the secondary leagues, you know, in Germany and France and Belgium, um, in Switzerland, in Austria. Transatlantic Sports Marketed is an integral part, in particular, of the European basketball makeup. Being an NBA certified agent with the NBA Players Association has enabled TASM to grow. We have great relationships with NBA scouts, NBA general managers, and executives. When I go to the summer leagues, people recognize TASM and myself. As a TASM associate, which I've become now over the years and working in my close relationship with Daryl, um, we've established and fostered a relationship that has led us to have really good contacts and I work as the eyes and ears for uh, Daryl in Great Britain and England and Europe in general and the players that come over from the United States to play basketball, there is a transition period and there is an adjustment period, uh, the game is different. You're there to play and you're there to be the professional and so there's a lot of responsibility on you as that person to bring it. With TASM, relationships, I think, have, are probably our strongest point. We have a very strong negotiating and advocacy skills that we use for our clients in order to get them the best deal. While representing some of the players that we represent in Europe, um, I like my guys to be on teams that actually play in the European <laughs> Cup competition. <laughs> Marco Spears is one of the unique players that TASM represents and Marco had the benefit of playing in Lithuania which is a hotbed of European basketball and he played in the FIBA European Cup which features the best teams of different leagues. Coming into the situation of uh, playing in Europe, I got my first job through Daryl and he has like took me under his wing. So he would come down and make sure I was alright because I was a young player it was being my first time out of the country, so he wanted me to be able to adapt to the situation. You know, what Daryl's done, he's not just someone that's gone and placed a player, he's been a mentor to these players. You know, a lot of agents, you know, don't provide that information and they don't also have the background themselves. And being an ex-professional basketball player yourself, you have that opportunity then to know what you're talking about. You've been there, you've done that, you've gone through the whole kit and caboodle yourself and uh, you know the game. Well, when I work out my players, first of all, it gives me an opportunity to correct maybe little bad habits or things that I've noticed, and I could give them suggestions based off of my experience being a professional basketball player myself. And during the workouts, you know, I give them drills, things they could work on. It gives me an opportunity just to see a lot of different things and work out against them. From my end of it, I don't know any agent that goes out and works with their players. I'm sure that they may exist, um, but I don't know of any. I'm looking at your ball handling skills. If they look weak, I'm on it. I'm sitting back watching everything you do. I'm watching how you crawl, how you bring the ball up. If I can slap the ball off your hand, if I see you like to go one way, I'm pushing you to the weak side. So, you know, as a ball player, the guys I work with, I don't want any weaknesses in your game. I would say that when an agent works out his player as an ex-player, it certainly gives you a tremendous benefit. And also you, that agent has that opportunity then to be able to gauge that player. A lot of things that I appreciate about Daryl, he's able to help me critique my game, uh, show me small things that I need to focus on. And he was teaching me more of how to take my angles on my crossover so I can really lose my defender. The European leagues, 
you know, there are emergence of a lot of good quality players because the leagues are becoming better and better. The coaching is becoming better. The practice systems are a lot different. They do focus on the pure aspects of the game like fundamentals, passing, systematic offense, and shooting. I think the NBA has went to the trend of developing players with upside potential. And there's a trend of NBA scouts and executives drafting young European prospects. Sometimes these prospects haven't been dominant in any league, any professional league, but you know they're seven foot and they fit the size and speed standards of the NBA. And so they're being drafted because of their upside potential. And the technical skills of the European players have certainly, no question, become um, you know, more, more superior to even some of the American players. Um, and that's down to constant coaching and constant working on those fundamental skills. So what we have here is we have you know, European players who are very fundamentally skilled but also are starting to learn the competitiveness and the athletic ability of some of these, these players playing in the NBA, now even some of them all-stars. And so I think that there's an incredible impact in Europe. So we have some incredible things happening here with the Olympic Games um, you know, as, as a focal point. And Daryl's been able to build up a company that just encompassed many other um, factors other than just agency and, 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 and placing players. And so the agency that we have gives us another aspect of sports marketing.